So here's the easier cap USB 2.0 video adapter with audio. It's a video capture device. I've taken it out of the package already. And allegedly it says you can capture high quality video and audio through USB 2. Capture audio without the sound card. Support for all formats, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, etc., etc. An upside down China sticker, that's rather fitting. And comes with a little mini CD, USB extension cable, and the device itself. You have your, this is CVBS, and your left audio and right audio, as well as an S-video connector. This end is USB. I applaud the use of a 5mm uh, LED, green no less. That'd be interesting. And it just plugs in. Now mine kind of wants to come apart, but uh, I think I only paid like 8 bucks for this thing. So I don't have high hopes for it. Let's see if it works. I'm going to use the uh, Asus EPC that I just fixed. It's time to get this thing fired up. And uh, I don't even know if it lost all of its battery and forgot all its settings or we'll see. But uh, let's see if it wants to boot up today. It does. So let that boot up and get started. Supports Hey quality video resolution 720 by 480 and PAL by 576. Okay, we're just about booted up and let's go ahead and put in the mini CD. There we go. Oh, wait, it's not gonna work. Yes, in case you were wondering, that's what the little indentation is for. It's for these little miniature discs. Let's see if it reads. Any day. The drive is readying. It's grumbling. Theoretically, it should auto run, but you know, you never know with these kind of things. Well, let's see something. It says Windows 8, but I don't like that kind. It claims it doesn't work with Windows 10. I have thought about actually trying that, and I said, nah, to hell with it. So, anyway, I don't know if it's trying to auto-launch. Oh, there we go. Here, run auto-run. And I'm going to go ahead and install the software first. So, I clicked on run auto-run. It's not loading. Oh, now it is. Oh good, things are happening. Okay, install. Let's see if I close that. It's loading. I've always found that these little mini discs like that, not to be confused with mini mini disc, are really slow. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. E enjoy. Video DVR. Oh, this is quality stuff right here. Let's see. Let's see if it'll run without error. Install without error. And allegedly it's going to install. Alright. I guess we'll just have to wait this out. Okay, one thing completed and it automatically launches the next one. So I don't know what any of that's about. This is for Honest Tech. Well, which is it? E-Enjoy or Honest Tech? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not a shady install at all. No way. Alright, let's see if that goes to install now. It's actually happening. Wow. I wonder if this little Atom processor will have enough power. Oh, it vibrates when I press on this a bit. I don't know if you can hear that. Interesting. Okay. 
So let's see what else happens. Now it says the E Enjoy is uh, installed. Okay. I'll hit that. I don't need DirectX 9. We'll hit exit. And maybe that'll do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my optical drive since I don't need that anymore. And we'll hook a source up. I have the Sharky Cam set up. It's currently looking at that knob. It's connected with video out. Obviously I'm not following color conventions because this is the only cable I came up with. Plus it's manorial output anyways. I don't know if the software has any tricks up its sleeve to to solve that and uh, although I probably have a splitter thing around somewhere it's too much of a pain in the deck to find. So we'll put an icon on the desktop. Let's go ahead and launch that. See if it will launch. I don't know if I have to plug the thing in first or like what the deal is. Oh good, please enter my product key. Alright, that's easy. After entering my product key, which something tells me is the same on every single disc. Oh my! It's using the built-in webcam, which is strange. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to play around with this and try to figure out how the hell it works. But at least we know that the webcam works. Actually, before I make a total dick out of myself, it'd be nice if I plugged that in, right? Let's see if I can do it one hand. It's plugged in and it actually has a green LED. Installing device driver software. That was retarded. I swore I plugged that in. All right, we'll just wait this out. Look at the Chinified case. Can you see that around the LED? And it'll just split apart if I go and pull it. It, it actually will. Okay, uh, yeah, this Chinese software just ain't working. Said okay on that a second. S-Video, composite, you can't click it. It won't do anything. I did find if I right click here and go to property setting, <laughs> now we get somewhere. We can go to video setting. Capture device is set to webcam. We'll set it to OEM device because that's what this video capture thing came up with. And we get absolutely nothing. I don't know why. If I go back to this thing, I still can't click anything. And then there's other strange settings if you go back here. First and foremost, it says select a recording device must be in default on Windows Volume Control. Uh, okay. <laughs> it just doesn't say anything. You can change the different thing. I don't know what NTSC M means or MJ, Michael Jackson. I don't know. 433? The fuck is all that? I have no idea. You can go into record setting, and this we can change. 720 by 480, highest quality, excellent recording, minium, minim, minium CPU, <laughs> Intel Pentium 4, 2 gigahertz. Well, I think we got that. Frame rate is either 29.97 or 30. That's fine. Bit rate, I guess we'll just leave. And uh, there's the working directory, and that's great. You can go to the etc. dialog. Surfing time, five seconds. So for channel surfing, which this doesn't support because it's just a hokey thing. So, uh, yeah, it just doesn't capture anything, which is strange that it doesn't let me do a damn because the, the camera is still on. We're still looking right at that. Okay, well anyway, that's in and on. Video and audio out. Video is red, audio is white. Video is red, which would be yellow. Audio is white, which is white. That stays disconnected. China! Okay, so this is really odd.